Hello Peppy Food Brawl here and welcome to my 10th model review. This time it's the character Prince DDD. Now King DDD is originally an original character from Kirby which is by Nintendo. Um, because he's my second most favourite character I went ahead and created him but uh, had him in a backstory of his own so before he became a king he was a prince. Uh, I know that in the past he hasn't had much um, support, like not many people seem to like him or whatever, but anyway, I went on to make a model of him anyway because I kind of promised I would when reviewing Model 2, which is his hammer. Um, anyway, uh, the, the look and design of this character I designed myself, but the character overall, DDD, is... Uh, copyrighted by Nintendo so all I did really was take the character and redesign him slightly as a prince um, but yeah this is the model of him which in the end I do quite actually like but before that it was actually an original sketch of him uh, I also did uh, create a theme of him which you're listening to now um, but yeah, this is the original sketch of him that I drew out and designed, and I drew him in his battle pose. So that is why he is doing the same pose. Um, okay, again, all of them is made out of blue tack, but with other materials as well, such as the saw and the inside. Okay, to start out, uh, for his head I actually used a small kind of uh, like a hollow ball a bit like a table tennis ball and used it as a basis because because I knew that the head and body would take up a lot of blue tack now, in the end it still took a lot of blue tack about 23 packs I believe but having the ball in his head reduced it quite a lot and also inside his um, body there's an like an egg shaped kind of toy so it's like a egg and then that uses as a base as well so yeah like this really reduced amount of blue tack and once that was made um i went ahead and created the feet which consume quite a lot of blue tack as well which you can see i'm sure like they are pretty big but cool and uh once that was done, um, I attached them on and then the coat. Now the coat was the most trickiest thing about this model. Uh, I wanted to put the coat on, but not that it would stick to his back, so that it looks like it's actually just a coat that's on him, but not a part of him. But that was hard because because it's blue tack it kept getting stuck to his back so and this made painting the coat even more tricky especially on the inside just carefully show you not every time I had to try and slowly lift up the coat and paint inside also painting the back of his um, body but this really this meant that I had to bend the coat all the way up here and this really damaged the shape and kept uh, removing the paint off him as well. So I did what I I did as best as I could to try and make it not a part of him, but that's how it turned out. That's why there's quite a lot of um, line cracks on this coat. I tried to fix them, but it just made the coat kind of worse. And, it, and because the coat's uh, quite thin and slightly heavy. It, it also tends to rip a bit, but not anymore because uh, I fixed it. Um, so once that was done, uh, I went ahead and made the arms, which used quite a lot of blue tack as well, but quite fun to make. And then the hand here, and then this arm, and then the the belts and the uh, kind of buckle and the ring. Uh, I actually originally wanted to somehow find an actual this size kind of metal ring because if you see on the illustration it is actually meant to be metal 
but I couldn't find one. I found one, but it was much too thin, so in the end I had to make one myself. And um, the head, his kind of uh, prince crown, that was uh, fairly hard to make, especially to get the shape of them. Actually, for the crown, I originally wanted to make it separate, so make it out of like card or something, so that you, so that you can detach the crown from him. But as as I thought about it more, I wasn't too sure if it was going to work because trying to make out a card and then make it into this kind of shape uh, was going to be hard because if I bend the card it won't become very smooth or round and it probably won't fit very well and plus the eyebrows are halfly attached to the crown so if the crown is removable the eyebrows probably fall off quite a lot. Um, and for the eyes, the eyes I found was probably uh, the second hardest part next to coat because if I zoom in, uh, he actually has quite anime-ish looking eyes so uh, I left them last because I was kind of scared of doing it because anime, the anime area I um, haven't really got much experience in but, but I think it turned out okay. I mean, to do the eyes, or sorry, to do the eyes, I basically just used the black um, black pen to draw out the shape first, and then used the green felt tip to colour in the green parts, and then I used the black again to colour in the pupil. Yeah, I think I think for the eyes, I did okay at them. Now for the sword, which is pretty big. It's his main weapon before his mighty hammer. I originally, um, but the cool thing about the sword is that it can actually detach from his hand, but I'm not going to do that because it will take a while to do. So, but yeah, it can actually detach from his hand. It's not stuck onto his hand permanently. It can actually remove it, just like an action figure. And for, for his sword, uh, I actually originally wanted to make it to give it like the actual shape it does, so it kind of um, has raised, it raises a bit here and goes all the way in, a bit like the like the illustration one. Like it actually raises out and goes all the way in. But I wasn't sure how to do it. I was originally going to try and use card and do it, but it would probably be much too fiddly and hard to do it with card to get that shape. Then I thought about blue tack to mould the shape in, but if I did that, it'll make the sword um, much more heavy. So it'll probably like better the blade will just fall off from the handle, or the whole arm will just start to slowly fall around. Because on this arm, uh, the only uh, it's not supported by any stick. It's actually just a solid piece and just stuck onto here. And as you can see here, it is kind of um, detaching very slowly because of the weight. So um, to support that a bit more, I actually had the coat wrap around his arm here, just like that, to give it a bit more support. So, but um, I only had to fix it about one or twice, but now it doesn't seem to be falling as much, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that that's basically the model of Prince DVD. Um, as a whole, I think it is actually pretty cool to have this model. Well, it is cool because of that. But yeah, that is my 10th model, Prince DVD. I hope you've enjoyed this review and hope to see you again soon. See ya.